Hey guys, Josh here and welcome back to Run Factory 5. So today I'm with Ryuka and we're gonna head to the third dungeon, which hopefully is gonna be a little bit more challenging than the second one. And I just want to show you, so I bought this little woolly sofa. I think it's just <laughs> super cute. There's a lot of cute furniture you can get in this game. But yeah, let's just get started. Oh, and it's rainy today. It's actually my very first rainy day since I've started playing Run Factory 5. And we're now on the 19th day of spring, so... It's been very sunny so far, so this is good. We're gonna have more time for the dungeon. Let me just ship this and let's see if there's anything ready on the dragon farm, but I don't think so. Yeah, nothing's ready here quite yet, so I'm just gonna pick up my animal products like this and let's go to the dungeon. All right, so let's go. It's not too far from here. We just gotta go through these mountains. These areas look very empty. I wish there were some trees or plants. It's kind of weird. Some areas look so good. Other areas are kind of empty. So as you can see, as soon as you step in here, like it looks so beautiful. It's so lush. There are so many plants and grass. And then <laughs> you look on this side and it's just super empty and weird. And then you come over here. It looks super good. But yeah, so here we have some woolly and I think these monsters are getting a little bit stronger than what we're used to so let's check this out and also I decided to change my weapon so I decided to go for jewel blades also some people mentioned in the comments that when you use jewel blades the frame rate to drop is not as bad as with the two-handed sword and I think so I think that's true Oh, and Ryoka is already <laughs> already passed out, so it's the first time I'm bringing him with me on an adventure, so he's like level 1. But yeah, he's fine, he's gonna come back and he's gonna get stronger eventually. Yeah, so these monsters are getting a little bit stronger than what we're used to, and as you can see, Ryoka is already leveling up quite a bit. And also you can change the equipment that your companions are using. For example, if I give him this hammer, as you can see right now, He's equipped with the hammer, so it's important to <laughs> make sure you give good equipment to your companions. And so the volcano is right there, we're getting closer, and, and there's some new enemies as well. And yeah, I can feel they are getting stronger. Ooh. And it seems like there's a lot of iron here, so I'm just gonna take all of that that's gonna be useful for crafting. I think I could try maybe taming one of these ghosts, because right now I'm just using my buffamu and it's like really not the best for fighting. So, let's see if I can manage to tame one of these. So, I'm gonna start with the brush. So, I'm gonna brush this one a few times. And then, gonna take some gifts. I don't have anything very interesting. Maybe some egg, woodware. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> Maybe some herbs. So, it's this one right here. No, that didn't work. Let's try that again. And yeah, yay. It was not too hard. So his name is Kiririn. That's just a name by default, but I think that's pretty cute. So let's go with that. I like that in Rune Factory they always give you names by default because I'm so bad at finding names. So I like when they do that for me. Ooh, and I just got a new weapon. I got a spear. I think it's my first one. So maybe we can give that a try, 43 of attack, that's not too bad. So let's check that out. I think it's pretty strong, the range is good, but it's of course not as fast as my jewel blades, you know what, I think, I think I'm think i gonna stick to my jewel blades. And I just noticed there's something over there, I don't know if that's gold or something on the other side, or maybe that's a crystal, I'm not sure, so I'm just gonna go back there and see what that is. Oh yeah, so that's an earth crystal. So usually to get the crystals, you have to use the seed circle ability and you're gonna get crystal fragments that you can then go to the crystal shop, get changed into crystals and it's gonna boost your dragon farm. But sometimes apparently you can just find these big crystals right away. So you can use them to boost your equipment. So this one has 5% uh, of critical, but you can also give it to the dragon and it's gonna make your field bigger. So maybe we can check that out right after we're done with our dungeon. Oh, and I just got another weapon. So let's try that. That's very slow, but let's see how it goes. And now we're gonna enter the dungeon. Ooh, looks pretty, pretty dangerous. I love the music.
Yeah, I really like this music. <laughs> I really do. All right, so let's explore this. I like how the roof of the cave is like very low. I don't know, it feels kind of claustrophobic in a way, but in a good way. I don't know if that, <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but I like these kind of narrow spaces. Yeah, the music is so good in this dungeon. I didn't notice the music in other dungeons to be like standing out too much, but this one is pretty amazing if you ask me. All right, so we've got some minerals here. I'm gonna keep the rune crystal for later. Maybe I can just drink a potion. I don't know how strong the enemies are gonna be. I don't know if it's gonna be the same enemies as outside or not. Also, I'm not making the same mistake I did in my last dungeon. I made sure to clean up my inventory as much as possible before starting. You know what? I think I'm gonna stick to my jewel blades, actually. Oh, and we got a new spell. Actually, I don't use spells a lot, but this is a water spell, so I'm pretty sure that's gonna be useful for here. And let's see how it looks. Oh, yeah. So there was the same water laser in Rune Factory 4 as well. I remember it was pretty strong. So it's pretty good against these fire slimes. Also, from what I can see, it seems like it's a lot bigger. Quite a bit bigger than the first dungeon, like there's many different paths you can go. And there's a few traps as well, such as these kind of fire things. <laughs> and just got some potato seeds. Oh, and I just got a new pair of drill blades. So the ones I currently have right now, they have 28 of attack. These ones have 58, so they're gonna be quite a bit stronger. So far, I feel like finding weapons is quite easy in the game, but for most armors and like accessories, I find myself I have to craft them because they rarely drop. But yeah, I get lots of weapons without having to craft. And I just got a water rod, so maybe we can try that and see if it's any good. All right, so it's not really good against these bugs, uh, but maybe against the fire enemies, gonna be a little bit stronger. So I talked a little bit about the seed circle earlier, so I just want to show you guys. So basically when you hold ZL, you can do this and it's gonna hold the enemy and sometimes you get a chance of getting an item and sometimes just like random materials like this, but sometimes you can also get, like right now, I just got a soil crystal fragment. So that's the main way of getting the crystal fragments. And also if you hold it long enough and you do the full charge like this, sometimes you can kind of capture the enemy and it's gonna help you temporarily. So it's not like taming the monster, but uh, they're gonna fight with you for a little bit. But now since my party is full, that's not gonna work. But yeah, that's quite useful. Sometimes if you want to get extra monsters with you without necessarily like having to tame them and being stuck with them forever. Also, I feel like the traps are getting trickier and trickier. Like these fires are everywhere and like the gate is in the center. So you gotta find a way to destroy the gate without <laughs> dying in the traps. It's not too bad though. I feel like the gates are very easy to destroy. I remember like, I think it was in Rune Factory Tides of Destiny. In Rune Factory 4, they were quite easy to destroy as well. But I think in Tides of Destiny was the game where they were really, really hard to destroy for some reason. So I'm just gonna maybe drink a little potion because I'm almost dead. So maybe like this and then with my hammer, I'm, I should be able to get RP from this. All right, like this. Oh, and it's still blocked, so there should... Oh, yeah, there's still an one in me. So these ghosts always kind of disappear and reappear. Sometimes they're a little bit tricky to locate. Oops. All right, we're done. So let's continue. Oh, just leveled up. I leveled up quite a bit in this dungeon so far. And it does look pretty good, right? Look at this. There's so many... It's actually quite a lot bigger than the previous dungeon. I've been here for, I don't know, like maybe 20 minutes or so. All right, so I think I'm heading to the, maybe not the bus, because there's no save point, but I think I'm almost done. Oh yeah, there's a save point right here. So are you guys ready to see what kind of bus we're gonna have? So the previous bus in the second dungeon, oh, this is, oh. Why is there someone here? 
So this is the first time we see this guy. It's a suspicious looking man and we don't really know who he is. But it looks like he's trying to absorb the runes from this area. So he says, I'm wondering how much I can get here. So I'm guessing this skull is going to turn into the boss or something. And our character is like, no way is he absorbing the runes. And then I got to stop him. All right, so now I should cross. So let's go beat up that guy. Oh, and we've got Scarlet who just arrived. So she's gonna help us arrest him. So she says, we're Seed and uh, you're the guy who are sealing the runes and we're gonna arrest you. And he just run away. And then Scarlet says, I'm not gonna let you escape. Scarlet! <laughs> My shoes actually. Yep. Scarlet, are you okay? Uh, instead of worrying about me, you should take care of that criminal. I got it. Alright. Oh, you had a companion, but it's such a waste. And. I'm not sure what this egg is for. I'm guessing we're gonna have the bus. Let's see. Ooh, so we've got a big snake. Looks a lot stronger than the previous bosses. So let's see how it goes. And that guy just ran away. <laughs> So I don't know if Scar yeah, I don't think Scarlet is in good shape to help us. So we're gonna have to defend her. And let's start. And he's really fast so far. Oh oh oh. Really fast and a little bit stronger than previous bosses. So I gotta dash a lot to avoid his attacks. And actually, I can do my special ability with Ryuka right now. Oh, well, he's passed out, so I'm not going to be able to. And... Okay, wait, wait, wait. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. <laughs> can we just drink a potion? Yeah, the difficulty is ramping up for sure, which is good. Actually, he's almost dead already. So, <laughs> not rem it's ramping up a little bit, but not that much either. All right, almost, almost, almost. Yay, I got it. That wasn't too bad. I just had to drink one potion, one antidote, and yeah. So let's see if Scarlet is fine. So she says, don't move. And he's like, let me go. Just release me. And she says, I'm not going to let you go. And oh, <laughs> we're like, stop. And we got him. And I'm not sure what's gonna happen with that skull. So we got him. And he says, let me go, let me go. Oh, oh, oh. What's happening? Oh, are we gonna get a second bus? Is that gonna be a new Oh. Or maybe it's gonna be one of our monsters? Like a new pet or I'm not sure. I'm not sure who is that dragon. So he says, oh, so are you an earth mate? Um, so actually... I'm a little bit confused with that dragon. <laughs> is there something wrong? It was a bit earlier than I planned, but we got the hardest part of the job done. So we're gonna listen to you after, but first we gotta bring you back. Oh, and Scarlet just passed out. Scarlet. Oh, oh, what happened? You're gonna have to bring her back. Oh no. <laughs> but what should we do? I'm gonna have to carry Scarlet. And then, oh. There's a new dragon, a farm dragon. I'm sorry, but would you mind bringing us all the way back to Rigbarth? 
So it seems like we just <laughs> discovered a new dragon and he's like, um, he can speak to the farm dragon, so he's definitely an earthmate. And Scarlet is now at the clinic, let's hope she's gonna be fine. And it seems like she's losing her memory as well. But after resting for a bit, she should recover fine. So that's good, she's not doing too bad. So Simon says, leave it to me, Josh, and go report to Rivia. Alright, so before I go report to Rivia, I want to check out the dragon farm. I'm really, really curious to see if we've got a second dragon. So there's still only just one rope, but let's see if maybe once I go up... Or maybe it's gonna be somewhere completely different, I'm not too sure. Anyway, there's one thing we can do, so... Okay, so actually... <laughs> Oh, okay, so are you guys gonna go home? So <laughs> I found these shoes in the dungeon and They actually make a sound when you walk. I hope it didn't bother you guys too much Because um, they actually boost my stats quite well, but It's just <laughs> maybe a little bit annoying, but yeah, we have a crystal now So we should be able to I think expand our field. So let's see how much bigger it's gonna get yeah, so as you can see, I think this one is the same, but we've got one more row here and then one more row there. So you can make it quite, I'm guessing, I'm not sure what's the biggest size going to be, but yeah, you can increase this quite a bit. And I just realized one thing for the farm dragon. So I've got this farm dragon near my farm and the other one actually stays near the dungeon. I thought it was going to come near my house. So let's see how it looks. Let's see if there's any difference between this one and the first one. And here it is. Oh, so it looks like a whale. It looks pretty. Oh, so I don't know if maybe it's going to be for mining or something. I don't. Oh, that's interesting. So it does look quite different than the other one. There's also two spots for monster barns. But yeah, I like how different it looks. There's not any ores or minerals or anything special. So, so far, it seems like it's going to be quite similar to the first one. And just like the first one, you can go give it some crystal. In terms of crystals, the bonuses and the requirements are the same. Yeah, so that's quite interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing how many dragons we can have in the end. All right, so I'm just cleaning up this dragon a little bit. And I think that's going to be pretty much it for today's video, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click like and subscribe if you want to see more Rune Factory content like this. And I'm going to see you in the next video.